Uh, hello everyone, Swiftflex Prince here, and today I'm going to play up right now. A Doctor Simulator game. Click, accept, yeah. I'm not 16, I'm 18, I'm above that, but whatever. So... In a hospital every day is a matter of life and death, prepared to be tested out. Probably gonna kill somebody sometime. <clears throat> Doctor, I know you're new here, but this is no time to be... What? For necessities? There's been an accident on the construction site here at the hospital. We just finished working on the reception area, and now this occurred. What is your name? Hmm. the demo if you want to read up on him you can pause the video right where it was telling us about Ethan good luck doctor he's stabilizing perhaps now I can introduce myself properly I am Amy dr. stone told me you were in charge until he returned Amy <coughs> Why did you not let me know about the newcomer being put in charge? Patients' lives hang on by a thread, and I have to wait for this am for an amateur to sign off on my operating room. You don't have to talk to Doctor Swift Fox as if the they weren't here, Rona. And we were just getting to that. What do you say about getting things running, Doctor? Yes. Mr. Thatcher, 45, came in today with acute stomach pain. He had untreated colonoctopy, which has left him very weak. Okay, doctor, now that we have good sanitary conditions to operate in, let's see how you can perform on a complex surgery. Let's get into it. Bone reconstruction. There are three department types for you to manage admission department manage patients, medical department to create, treat with patients, okay, and a care department. Indicators tell you tutorial. 
bad. You certainly seem to have what it takes to... But I wonder how far are you, are you willing to go to do what's right? Why don't you keep your mind to yourself and let me do my job? Man, Serona sucks. Ah. Lots of patients are coming in right now. We can't wait for you to sign off on each treatment. I have to admit it, but she's right, Dr. Swiftfox. You need to delegate the workload. Sign me to run the new operating room. If Dr. Stone were here, he would have done so already. Yeah, whatever. I earned Dr. Ambrosa. We'll need a place where patients can recover safely. Let's build a ward. <coughs> Looks so weird. Oh, I'm already at level 3. Nurse! Except for it's not a girl, it's a guy. Oh, really? Punching us? Are you punching that person? Ugh. Dr. Stone sent approval for the break room. I still don't get the need for that. Resources spent, resource spending should be solely for better patients' care. You know how hectic things can get around here, Serona? The better rested we are, the better care we can give our patients. Doubt much resting will take place there. Those hooligans will turn it into a frat house. Whatever that is. Well, it can't get any worse than having nothing at all, can it? Let's get constructing. Let's get construction started, Dr. Shafox. of each new mouse on your each complete them to unlock rewards. You know, the 
this means? Blew everything. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, it's pretty. This place is yellow. Shattered bones. Jake, 21, went uh, on a night ride. Fell off his bike riding home and broke his arm. Oof. Working relentless. Mission has come in. That's a severe bone fracture. Take care care to take a look, doctor? Yes. <clears throat> it's here. Jake, 21. Went on a night out. He fell off his bike riding home and broke his arm. Slice dice. Four sips. Give me those pieces back. There it goes. Upstat. It's really heavy bandage it too while you're at it. It looks like there's a blockage in the right corner or right, artery. Surgery is risky, but it's nothing my team can't handle. Yes. Optic removal. Let's get right on it. I burned Mary. What a lovely name. Finally, Dr. Stone, you're back. Perhaps you could explain why you left this amateur in charge of the hospital instead of me? Judging by hospital reputation, the no new doctor is certainly living up to my expectations. You've done a great job, Dr. Sofox. Sarona forgets her place. Sometimes she's an amazing doctor. Surgeon, my bad. <laughs> but I need a great leader in building the up this hospital. If we are to make a difference in the city. So I think I need another one of these. Mr. Barnes, 66, tried roller skating for the first time. Things didn't go as well as she planned. Let's fix that leg, shall we? Sorry.
we go. Phew. Surgeon Serona, but performing an operation like that without doing an X-ray exam before could cost a patient his leg. Face reality, Amy. That's a luxury we can't afford yet. We worked with that. Well, we work with. We worked with what we have. You're both right. Running a hospital is as much about raising money as it is about patient care. Without both, people will die. Oof. got to meet Dr. Stone. He's a great boss, but can be really stern at times. I trust I don't need to remind you to keep your attention on your patients, Amy. You can always socialize, socialize on your own time. What did I tell you? Mr. Brown, 34, 43. Was working in his garage when he slipped on oil and then his Oof. Um...
are crucial to everyday tasks at hand. Hospital. We need to ensure that every department is met by qualified and dedicated staff members. So, get to it. There are patients waiting to be examined. surgery, Dr. Stone. We've had three other patients in the same condition waiting for a week because he offered to pay to place himself at the top of the list. Are you serious? You're doing this, Irona. We do whatever it takes to keep this hospital funded. You're not gullible, aren't you? Good, this hospital is really starting to look like one now. There you are, Dr. Stone. Oh, Allison, this is Dr. So Fox. We need all the help we can get to run a tight ship around here. Yeah, real pleasure. Listen, Noah, you got to come talk with, uh, to Sam. Give me Allison. You can see I'm in the middle of... Damn it, Noah. You know how this works. Running a hospital is just as much about politics as it is patient care. If you would have answered his calls, you would know that he wants to pull his funding. But again, Allison, let's go to my office and see what, if we can sort this out. Keep up the good work, doctor. Let's hope we can turn this hospital into a profitable venue for all our sakes. Okie dokie! <coughs> Serona, I need you and Dr. Suffolk to take Noah's place in the operation room. Oh shoot. Why, did something happen to him? Just go to the operating room. The patient's waiting. Oh no, here we go. Ready, guys? Large wounds. Like, these are very delicate. There we go. You're healed even though it puts two, two stitches in you. Allison, would, would you tell me what happened to Dr. Stone? He can't just abandon his patient at the last minute. He, he, he had to take an important phone call. Oh, the perks of being the boss. Don't talk about what you don't know, Serona. You have no idea the sacrifices that man has made.
didn't take the money. So here's the whole story. Excuse me, doctor, this is a personal call. When I looked at the name on the screen, I couldn't particularly see the smile on his face. Nice hospital doctor, still trying to save the world, I see. Just like old times. Eight years earlier. <laughs> Jason, 24, cut up his arm while trying to open the beans. Okay, that's interesting. Next time, get yourself a better... Jason, go home and go shopping and buy yourself one of those easy cut things so that way you can pull the lid and not kill, cut yourself again, okay? Okay, have a nice day at home. Your signature here and the nurse's schedule is set for next week. Dr. Sofax. I didn't get to introduce myself earlier. The name is Allison. I'm the PR representative for the hospital. Listen, I'll cut straight to the chase. When a patient dies, the hospital's reputation drops, which means we lose interest from investors. Which the lack of interest from investors make my life become much more difficult. There are, however, certain PR tactics we can put in place, but if you're you do your job right, this won't be an issue. With that cleared up, it, I look forward to working with you, Doctor. See you around. Allison sure is smart, sh but she can also be cold as ice sometimes. Hospital life is just good business to her. She understands nothing about patient care. Patient care. Be cautious with her, okay? Okay, I think that's where I'm going to end it right now. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.